Hello! Today I'm going to be reviewing the caravan. So first I'll show you the inside of the caravan and then after that I'll show you all of the pieces it comes with. So here is the caravan from the front. So it has two big windows here and also a skylight on the top and there's two of them as well either side and there's green here over the wheels and a window here and also there and then at the back there are two more windows like the ones at the front and the number plate says smiley with a one instead of the i and there's also some stickers and it says the sylvanian family's caravan club and i love caravans and there's even like all the lights as well on it so it's very detailed and then this side is the door so now I'll show you the inside, the door opens there and there are some steps that you can put in like that so you can easily step in as it's quite high up off the ground so the steps make it a lot easier. So now I'll show you the inside. So the roof comes up and this bit opens up as well. And the floor folds out. So up here there are like bunk beds that fold down like that. And I think they actually stay up better than the ones in the camper van, even though that's newer. Like when I put it back up, they do stay up when I put the roof back down. So that's really good because I've had this for quite a while. You can just see it's gone a bit kind of yellowy. I think it used to be more of a kind of cream colour, but now it does look quite yellow. And you can see like different parts of it look more yellow than others. So here's where you come in with the door and there's a seating area here which then folds out into a bed which is kind of like a double bed for the parents and there's a little table area here with a painting of a landscape and then there's drawers here. And there's a red kind of mat there as well. And a little secret place where you can put things under here. Which is really cool. And here is the bathroom area with a shower. Which is in the little hook there which I think it does come out but I think it's quite tightly in there so I'll leave that and the sink and in here is the toilet that folds out like that I think that's really cool and it's great for saving space that you can easily just tuck away your toilet and there is a mirror above the toilet as well and a toilet roll at the side so then if you go around this way into the kitchen area there's another thing that folds out and that is the ironing board not that I think you'd want to do ironing when you're on holiday and it's a lovely flowery stripy pattern and then that just folds away easily 
And of course it's got this really cool floor that folds in and out. So it gives you some more space. And it's a lovely like, light blue kind of turquoisey colour. Almost kind of mint green cupboards. Which looks nice with the kind of creamy yellow coloured caravan. And lovely wooden worktops. And then here is the oven. And the hob and sink and there's even like a little clock on the wall and some hooks to put the chopping board on and there's even a note board for um, a shopping list and it says milk and bread and that is what the inside looks like so now I will show you all of the pieces it comes with. So here are all of the pieces it comes with. So there are two sleeping bags a mat for the bathroom, two board games and then here we have some maps and I think there's two of the same map which is good because then you could leave one in the caravan and plan where you're going to go and then also bring one with you so you don't get lost so I'll show you that unfolded so you can see the whole of Sylvania and then there's also some postcards it says wish you were here um lovely countryside and stately home and there's also a tray for the oven a baking tray with some I don't know if it's bread or something on it maybe and there is a chopping board with a knife a spatula a iron a spare toilet roll a bar of soap a green kettle a spoon for stirring the um, saucepan with the soup inside and a towel and then here we have a little table the cooking pot or saucepan with a soup or something inside which you can put the spoon in There are two yellow plates and yellow cups. There's salt and pepper. Some orange juice with two glasses. The one on the left is the glass that came with it. And the other glass is a different one because I couldn't find the other one. But I've also found this one which I don't know which set it's from so I think somehow I must have swapped one of the glasses with another set because there isn't another set of a glass missing because I kind of checked all the sets I think last year and kind of tidied everything and worked out if anything was missing so I think they were originally both the same cup so it must be just I swapped it with another set at some point and ended up with the wrong one. And then here we've also got some two sets of cutlery with a fork, a knife and a teaspoon. And they look quite fancy as well at the end with a little kind of square shape. Looks quite nice. There's some tongs. 
I really love these oven gloves, they're really cute. And there's tea and sugar pots. But they are actually in red, but the kettle and saucepan were in green. So I think it's funny that they're not the same colour, but it still looks cool now. So now I'm going to set up all of the pieces in the caravan. So now I've put everything in, I'll just quickly show you it all close up again. So here's the kitchen bit. And then the kind of living room bit, which can also be a bedroom for the parents. The bathroom and the children's bunk beds. So my favourite thing about the caravan is probably that it can accommodate a family of of four a lot better than some of the houses can because if you think it's got a bathroom a kitchen a kind of living area which also is the parents bedroom and children's bunk beds that's more than enough space for a family of four with two parents and a brother and sister but some of the houses if you think they've got like four rooms, then that's like you'd have a living room, a kitchen, and then you could have both the bedrooms, but then there's still not enough room for the bathroom. So I think it is really great that there are there is a lot of room for everyone. There could even be room for a baby, and you could put a cot in here as well, or even on this little red bit here could be like a extra kind of bed bit so there is quite a lot of room which I think is really good and I just love the colour of the kitchen so much such a beautiful colour thanks for watching please subscribe bye